This video demonstrates the procedure for computation of size and reinforcement of an axially loaded short column as per IS456-2000 code provisions. Watch this video till the end to learn the basic concepts and the step-by-step -step size and reinforcement calculations. In this video, we will learn the design of a RCC column of 3.5 meter effective length to resist an axial ultimate load of 1750 kN using M20 grade of concrete and FE415 steel. Based on the problem statement, we have axial ultimate load PU equals to 1750 kN, effective length equal to 3.5 meter, value of FCK equal to 20 Newton per mm square and value of Fy equal to 415 Newton per mm square. In this design, compute the size of column and reinforcement which are unknown in this problem statement. To compute the cross-sectional dimension of the column, following assumptions are made. First, column is axially loaded short column. And second, the minimum eccentricity is less than 0.05 times the lateral dimensions of the column. Based on these assumptions, the equation given in the clause 39.3 of IS456 will be used for the design of column. In this equation, PU is ultimate axial load, AC is area of a concrete and ASC is the area of a longitudinal reinforcement. Let AG equals to gross cross-sectional area of a column, AC is area of a concrete in column cross-section and ASC is area of a longitudinal reinforcement. So, let us compute the area of a concrete AC and area of a reinforcement ASC. Based on the clause 26.5.3.1a, the range of longitudinal reinforcement is 0.8% to 4% of the gross cross-sectional area of a column. Hence, assume the value of ASC equal to 1.5% of AG. The area of a concrete AC can be computed by deducting area of a steel ASC from the gross area AG. After solving, we get the area of a concrete AC equal to 0.985 times gross area AG. By putting the values of PU, AC, ASC, FCK and FY, we get the value of gross area AG equal to 1,45,228 mm square. Let us assume the square shape column. Therefore, the side of the column is equal to 381 mm. Round off this to higher value for safer side. So, take the side of the column equal to 450 mm. Hence, provide the square column of size 450 mm by 450 mm. Let us check these dimensions for the slenderness ratio. As per clause 25.1.2, the column may be considered as short when both the slenderness ratios Lex by D and Ley by B are less than 12, where Lex and Ley are the effective length in respect of major and minor axis respectively, while B and D are the width and depth of the column. Here, Lex and Ley is equal to 3500 mm, while B and D equal to 450 mm. After calculation, both the slenderness ratios are less than 12. Hence, the assumption of short column is satisfied. Suppose, in case this check fails, then increase the column dimension and recheck the slenderness ratio. Next, check the column dimensions for minimum eccentricity. As per clause 25.4 of IS456, all the columns shall be designed for minimum eccentricity, which is equal to unsupported length of column 
divided by 500 plus lateral dimensions divided by 30 subjected to a minimum of 20 mm. So let us calculate the minimum eccentricities EX and EY. In the problem statement, the effective length is given and restraint condition is not mentioned. Hence, consider the values of unsupported length LX and LY equal to effective length that is 3500 mm. After computation, both the eccentricities equal to 22 mm, which is more than minimum value of a 20 mm. As per clause 39.3, these calculated minimum eccentricities should not exceed 0 0.05 times the lateral dimension, as the given equation in this clause is used for the design. So, calculate the values of 0 0.05 times depth and 0 0.05 times width, which are equal to 22.5 mm. These values are more than the minimum eccentricities. Hence, the assumption of minimum eccentricity is satisfied. Suppose, in case this check fails, then increase the column dimension and recheck the minimum eccentricities. In next step, compute the longitudinal reinforcement. Earlier, it is assumed that the area of a longitudinal reinforcement ASC is equal to 1.5% of gross cross-sectional area of the column. Therefore, after computation, we get the area of reinforcement equal to 3037 mm square. Let us fix the number of bars to be provided as longitudinal reinforcement. As per clause 26.5.3.1 C and D, the minimum number of bars in rectangular column are 4 numbers, while the minimum diameter of bar is 12 mm. Select the bar diameter as 25 mm. The cross sectional area of this bar is 490.62 mm square. Now compute the number of bars by dividing the required area of a steel by cross sectional area of a each bar. In column, always provide the even number of longitudinal bars. Hence, provide 8 number of 25 mm dia bars as longitudinal reinforcement. Thus, the total area of a steel provided is equal to 3924 mm square. In next step, let us compute the diameter and spacing of the lateral ties. As per clause 26.5.3.2, the diameter of the lateral ties shall not less than one fourth of the diameter of the largest longitudinal bar and in no case less than 6 mm. Here. 25 mm bar diameter is used for longitudinal steel. Hence, the one fourth value of the diameter is 6.25 mm. Therefore, use the 8 mm diameter lateral ties. Next, the spacing of the ties shall not be more than the least of the following. First, the least lateral dimension. Second, 16 times the smallest diameter of the longitudinal bar. And third, 300 mm. Here, first least lateral dimension is 450 mm. Second, 16 times smallest diameter of the longitudinal bar is 400 mm. Hence, provide the spacing of the ties equal to least of all three values that is 300 mm. Therefore, provide 8 mm diameter ties at 300 mm center to center. Finally, let us summarize the design and the reinforcement detailing. An axially loaded rectangular short column is designed with M20 grade of concrete and FE415 steel. The column is designed as square column of size 450 mm by 450 mm. Eight number of 25 mm diameter bars are provided as longitudinal reinforcement, while 8 mm diameter lateral ties are provided at spacing 300 mm center to center. If you like this video, then share your thoughts in comment section. 
subscribe this channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of such interesting videos for visual and simplified learning of various civil engineering topics.